hey guys what's up it's your girl carolina and welcome back to my channel i did um sell tanner for the first time and oh my god i love like the color of like my skin it's just as you guys could um see from the title i'm gonna get a, a double helix piercing i want to take you guys along today um to go get my piercings because i don't know i just thought it would be cool I'm over here eating my Cheerios. Hi, huh, um, I'm gonna start doing my makeup before I get into like the storytelling and yada yada yada. I'm not gonna do like a full on beat. I'm just gonna do something real quick. The reason why I really want to get them is because I had them twice before. I first got my Helix uh, piercing. I think when I was I was hella young. I think I was in like second grade when I first got my Helix piercing. So uh, what second grade? You're like six, seven around there. My mom just let me get them. I think this is what happened. If I remember how it happened um i think it was almost gonna be like my sister's 15th birthday and i think for her 15th birthday i think my mom was gonna let her like get her nose pierced but we ended up going to like the swami over there in um in rialto a city over there in cali i think it was on like foot hill or something but it was like an indoor swami yo those indoor swamis were like they were it back in the days. It could have been the Swami next to um Cardenas, but or was it superior? Like superior? I don't know. I think I was just like being a brat and I was just like, mom, you know, I want to get a piercing too. So I think that's how the story went down. Hold on, I gotta go with my beauty blender. Ugh. I just be calling my husband to like go with my beauty blender to be honest. I know I'm such a such an a-hole. Should I even? Nah, I'm just gonna get up. <laughs> But who else be doing that? Who else be calling like their man to go with their beauty blender because you don't want to get up? I feel like when I'm doing my makeup, I hate getting up. I hate having to go get something. Like I just want to sit down, you know, do all my makeup in one sitting and watch YouTube videos. Wait, I'm going to put some of this. I just recently got this at um, Marshall's. Is that I do care straight radiant um, moisturizing glow gel cream. It looks like this. It kind of reminds me of the the Forsali glow type of thing. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like the jelly glow. I just want to add like this little golden tone because I feel like since I tanned, you know, obviously my face looks a little bit more um, yellow. So I feel like this will give it like a nice little glow and shine. Oh yeah. That's cute. But anyways, I do have like a picture of when I was young with my piercing. I'll post it up. Y'all better not come for me, dude. This was like seven, eight year old Gato, all right? So I remember coming in like the next day to school and dude, like I was like the baddest. I was just like, mm, I have a piercing, what's up? Even like my teacher, like um, she was like, what? Like you got your ears, like your ears pierced? And I was just like, yeah. And she kind of looked at me like, what the heck? Because it's like, you hardly ever see kids with like piercings like that you know you will not see mexican kids with no freaking piercings only like their bottom piercings at the age of zero weeks <laughs> what foundation am i gonna use well i only have the fenty so i guess i'll just use the fenty oh actually no i'm not gonna use the fenty i have my born this way here I'm gonna use that one because the born this way is a little bit darker than my uh fenty and yeah i think this one will go like really cute with my tan like you know i was a kid i didn't know how to take care of my piercing um i didn't know that i wasn't allowed to take it out you know or you shouldn't you know take it out so i ended up taking it out to like clean it one day and then on the process of cleaning it like my piercing freaking clothes like my whole clothes and in that whole process like i wasn't able to put it back in so i ended up just taking the other one out and that was it i was just like okay well you know they're clothes oh well i didn't re-get it done until i was like in high school so i think when i was a freshman um the same time that i got my nose pierced also my mom like took me but you guys honestly i'm gonna tell you something about my mom she's not like your average mexican mom i mean she is but 
at the same time she really isn't my mom is all tatted like i think she has more tattoos than all of my brothers and sisters like put together to be honest i think she has like half sleeves or almost full sleeves she has, like her whole chest tatted but yeah you know my mom grew up in the era of like cholas you know my mom also had a probably like more piercings than us she had her i think her eyebrow pierced i know to this day she has her tongue pierced she has um she used to have this pierced. I don't know what that what that what that's called. What else did she have pierced? I think she had her nose pierced too. But if you look at my mom, I'm taller than my mom. I think my mom is like 4'11. She looks like the sweetest little person ever. My mom was yeah, dude. I think that's why she was like really cool with us getting like tattoos and piercings and stuff. But I didn't get my first tattoo until I was 22. Oh, and then I'm gonna be using the NARS Waiting Creamy Concealer. Yeah, so after high school, I just got like a fear of like needles and stuff i don't know why i think honestly it's because like in the marine corps like the corpsmen are basically the same age as us they're like still learning they were basically still students and they were like our doctors they sometimes would repoke you and repoke you because they couldn't find veins squirt out freaking blood it was bad so i think that's why i started getting my fear of like needles and stuff but yeah so i had my helix piercing all throughout high school and then uh, when i was a senior when i was going through the process of enlisting in the marine corps um you had to go get like a full physical where they check every little part of like your body they check everything they basically check everything just to make sure that you are healthy and you're able to enlist so i go and it's like an all-day process and be there like all day just doing like medical stuff like blood drawn looking at your piss getting naked like i actually had to go twice because the first time um i didn't you were supposed to take out all of your piercings all of that and i didn't know i went with like my ears still pierced and then so they told me oh no you can't like you can't even continue the day like if you still have your piercings in and i was like okay no problem like i'm gonna go take him out so i go into the restroom i try to take it out like the backing was like stuck a little i don't even know what ended up happening but i pulled it like too hard and um it started bleeding like and it was like bleeding kind of like bad and they were like oh no you have like an open wound now like you definitely can't finish today so i had to sit in the waiting room you didn't have your phone you just sat in a room all day for like hours seven in the morning till like 5 6 p.m i'm telling you i was sitting there for like hours i was so mad i was just like oh my god long story short it wasn't a short story i'm basically getting them redone but just in one um one ear that's why i'm getting double like a double helix so one right here one right here you know like you know what i'm talking about okay i'm about to do my eyebrows and then i'm probably just going to do the rest of my face and then i'll come back once i'm done getting ready i just wanted to give you guys a little backstory of my life because i feel like i really don't share my life with you guys so that's why i want to tell you a little backstory why i'm getting this piercing okay so i just did a quick look i literally just did this in like 30 minutes 25 minutes like i really really like this i feel like this is like my definitely my go-to when i don't want to put um fake eyelashes or do my eyeshadow i think it's really cute so i'm just gonna change because right now i just have like a sports bra and then i'll see you guys over there once i get to the piercing place i wasn't meant to be And I kind of just don't want to go anywhere else because this was like the best reviewed place. So anyways, you guys, so we went to this um, tattoo and piercing place and their piercer is like out of town until February 14th. So now I got to wait because I don't want to go anywhere else. This was like the best reviewed place here in Jacksonville. And Jacksonville only has like, how many piercers and tattoo shops? Like, I mean, they have a ton, but that are good. Oh, I don't know. Like, Maybe like two. two. Yeah, I'll come back next week to do it. But I'll see you guys next week once I come again. How do you feel about me not getting my, uh, my piercing? 
be honest, dude, I'm actually heartbroken. We came to get some food. Who loves miso soup? Who else loves miso soup? Why are you taking my soup? How does it taste though? Like really good dishwater. <laughs> it really does look like dishwater though. Like when it's going down the drain and stuff. finished eating here this was actually pretty good um it's very hard to find like a good mexican uh mexican restaurant out here in uh north carolina why is my nose like <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah. anyways um yeah so we're about to go get my uh piercing right now hopefully the piercer is there now it's the day after valentine's day saturday uh, we went to go do a uh, painting. You're able to like bring your like own alcohol and stuff. So it was fun. We did that yesterday. I'm kind of low-key kind of scared. Like I kind of think about it and I'm like, how is eight-year-old me not scared, but 22-year-old me is like super scared. Mm -hmm. Like this? That's okay. actually legit. That's legit as fuck. Um, that's crazy. Wait, is that a girl? Mm, definitely do. I thought it would take forever to heal these. And they can take, I say, four to six months and up to a year, depending on how well you take care of it. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> so, like, do you just get them super hot or? What do you mean? The, the piercing. I've, I've never seen a piercing no, done, to be honest. Yeah, oh, okay. What? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I thought like you get them super hot and like you just no, piercing no, no, through. That's, that's them torture easy. basically. Oh. <laughs> but but no, not like that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I've never gotten a piercing. No, no. It's I mean it's an interesting question. Like both times I got them, they did it with like a gun. That's probably why you had a really hard time with it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let you double check those marks and you tell me how you like the placement. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. That's good. Alright, and just sit that down beside you then. When I get ready to pierce you, all I'm going to do is tell you take a deep breath and let out. Your piercing at that point is over. Take a deep breath in, we'll let it out. Very good. Are you good yet? Oof. How are you feeling? It hurts. <laughs> I know, it is uncomfortable. I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to slip your jewelry in, okay? Okay. <sighs> you can breathe, <laughs> relax, <laughs> Is it bleeding? Uh, I'm just cleaning it up. Oh, okay. But it wouldn't be uncommon for it to. It did pierce through your skin. That's not I'm like, blood. does the second one like hurt the same? <laughs> it's probably gonna be pretty similar. Oh god. Are oh, you doing okay? Yeah. Okay. You're probably. That's that's normal. You probably hear me ask that a lot throughout the process, just so I can make sure you're breathing. Right. I just ate too, so I'm like super full, and then my ears hurt me. That's actually not a bad thing. A lot of people will pass out because they haven't eaten. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, their sugar, their adrenaline goes down, and their sugar drops. So, so how do you clean it? Like, you don't take it off, or? No. You're gonna use antibacterial soap and sink. You're actually not supposed to take it out until like you're done healing, right? Correct. Wow. I did that mistake like the first time I took it out, and then like as soon as like I try to like take put it back into like after cleaning, like it was already closed. Yep. It does that. Yes. <laughs> it, it heals that fast. It can close within minutes. Same thing with your nose. Like if you get a nose piercing, if you lose it, you just want to get in as soon as possible because it can close within minutes. You want a minute to do the second one? Yeah. No, just get it over. They just. That's what. It's kind of like a workout, dude. Just get it over with, you know? Yeah, I think I'll just get it over with. Okay. All right, I'm going to the other yeah. side to actually try. Capture the moment. Okay. All right. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Very good. Whew, okay. The, the second one wasn't that bad. It was really? like the first, the first one, yeah. Usually it's the opposite. Usually what? people will tell you the uh, second one is worse. All right, I'm just gonna slip your jewelry. It was unbearable, people. It's probably gonna like after. hurt to sleep tonight. <laughs> it is. Yep. I will recommend getting a travel pillow if you find mm -hmm. it very difficult to sleep. Yeah. 
That's what I've seen people use. Mm -hmm. the, the U shaped one? Yeah. Yep. Mm. And you put your ear like in the Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I have one. Yeah, you do. Oh, you're already on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> I see people like the whole ear. I'm like, oh, I think that's so cute. It is cute, <laughs> they, but they probably didn't get them all at once. Grab the mirror and take a look. I will give them a clean here in just a minute. That is cute. You like them? Yes. <laughs> you're, you're, you're so red, dude. I know dude. it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna give them a clean, okay? okay. Yeah, so I just came back from getting my double helix piercing and um, it didn't go as bad as I thought, to be honest. I thought it was gonna hurt a lot more. The first one, I'm not even gonna lie, that one, like, it hurt. It really hurt. So I was kind of scared for the second one. But honestly, the second one wasn't that bad. I felt like the first one hurt a lot more. Um, and she was like, what? Like, it's usually the other way around. Like, the first one doesn't hurt as much as the second one. But I don't know, for me, the first one hurt a lot more. Yeah, I think they're super cute. I can't wait to get more on my ear. I kind of want to get a few more down here, going down. Maybe like right here or in here. I don't know. So I'm gonna be using this to sleep. Basically, you just put your ear in between so you won't be sleeping on your ear. You can put your like ear in this hole. And then, you know, you're just gonna be laying like this. Yeah, so I'll get back on here tomorrow morning um, and tell you guys how I slept, if there was still any pain, um, or if it was really, really difficult to sleep, and if the travel pillow actually worked. And just keep you guys updated. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, hey guys, so it is morning, the next day after getting my piercing. And honestly, you guys, I slept pretty good. Like, I didn't have really any discomfort. It doesn't really hurt anymore. Like I'm touching it and um, I did sleep with this and honestly like it really helped a lot when I do sleep on my left side But usually I sleep on my right side. I sleep on this side um, I was like conscious throughout the night of being careful with it So when I did turn to like my left, I made sure I grabbed my pillow and placed it really nice and you know comfortable You know that was about it um yeah i thought it was gonna be a lot worse i thought it was gonna be a lot more uncomfortable sleeping but it wasn't um i'm gonna continue to use this for another week or so so they gave me this little kit right here and i bought this h2 ocean spray there which was eight dollars and they gave me the rest for free i went to uh forbidden tattoos and piercings i know if you guys live in jacksonville you guys definitely know where that is and this is it it's actually really, really nice in there. They had all these like free snacks, free drinks. It looked really nice and clean. The piercer, I think her name was Megan, but I'm not sure. I'll link her info down below. I feel like she made me feel like really comfortable and really safe. You know, I didn't, I like, I was feeling nervous like at the beginning, but once I started talking to her and she kind of like, talk me through it and stuff like i felt like at ease you know i wasn't like panicking or anything like that so she made it like really really easy and really really simple she was super sweet and super nice i hope you guys really enjoyed i love them i can't wait to get more the pain is it's it's bearable but the first one at least for me it hurt really really bad oh i could just like remember the pain but um yeah it's it's very bearable it's not like oh my god you know like this is so much pain but it's just like oh all right you know like i feel the pain it's there all right let's just keep it moving though like let's say if i had these i wouldn't go tomorrow and go get another one like no 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 no, no. i'm probably gonna wait until these heal so like in six seven months i think i'll get another one um but yeah i think i really want to get this one inside of here like in this little area i forgot what it's called but i just gotta reopen these my earlobes ones which are easy like i just had to put a earring in and then they'll like reopen i do want to do an update video maybe like two months from now and show you guys how they're healing because they do take six months like i've said so many times before they do take six months 
maybe a little bit more to heal so i'll probably do an update video so comment down below or like this video if you guys want me to do like an update of my um double helix piercings but yeah that is it for today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed my little story time give it a thumbs up comment down below and tell me how your experience was with like helix piercings or any like ear piercings if you guys have this one let me know if it hurt let me know your guys's experience don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i am trying to get to 1000 subscribers so help your girl out i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Mwah.